Hi, I'm Jake, and on this episode of Rig Rundown, we're looking at Sherwood's 10-inch contractor saw. I'll get to talking about who it's best suited for in a minute, uh, but for now, I just want to give you a, a quick rundown of the specs, uh, so let's get stuck into it. Anybody who's, who has used a saw will know it's got some pretty basic functions. It has a blade, it has a tabletop, a stop and go button, and a rip fence. Uh, anyone who has used a portable job site saw will know that that rip fence is pretty rubbish. That's where at least this model starts you off in a much more professional uh, capacity. It is a contractor saw. So by contractor saw, it's sort of an abbreviation of a job site saw. Uh, it's implied that it's relatively lightweight that you can take it out on site and use it uh, and have access to a semi-professional sort of setup while you're out on site or you're in the workshop and you need to still be able to move it out of the way. It features a cast iron top with some pressed steel wings again for added uh, or for reduction of weights and for increased maneuverability. The rip fence itself is made of a cast alloy aluminium, uh, so it is very lightweight uh, and it's very easy to slide up and set to whatever width that you need. The rip fence itself will set out to a maximum of 730 millimetres, which means that you can cut up a 24 by 12 sheet, uh, you can at least rip it in half. It has an 1100 watt motor, uh, which means that it is, it's got a bit of a punch. Uh, it's one of two saws that we sell uh, that comes with a 10 amp plug, so fortunately you don't have to get a sparky out to the workshop. It also features the capacity for a 250mm blade, or 10 inches. At the front, you'll find the stop and go button. The stop is nice and big and within reach of your knee. Uh, so if you've got someone tailing out and they're not paying attention, you can just shut it straight off by yourself. The wheel at the front is for height adjustment. Uh, this unit with a 250mm blade will give you a max uh, cutting height capacity of 76 millimeters. And the wheel on the side is for your 45 degree tilt. It will go down to 45 degrees left of the blade, uh, which will make ripping bevels much safer. Now you're at this point in the video wondering whether or not this is the uh, most suitable saw for you. So who is it suited best for? Uh, it's definitely an enthusiast saw. If you're using a saw that has a pretty flimsy construction, um, a lot of frustration with portable job site saws is that the rip fence is completely useless. Uh, this is definitely something worth looking into. You can take the base off the saw itself uh, for increased maneuverability so that you can build it, chuck it straight onto your workbench. You can chuck it in your tray in the back of the ute. Um, you can throw it in the back of the van, take it out on site and get it set up. So any chippies, any cabinet makers who've got a rip up, say skirts or arcs, um, cabinet makers who've got to cut up fillers and kickers, if you need to rip quite a lot um, and you need some consistent um, quality cuts, then this is something definitely worth looking into with the appropriate blade, of course. Um, chippies, again, if you're doing floorboards and you need to rip a bunch of them down, um, this is definitely something that's worth looking into. It's a good saw to take out on site that you're gonna be there for, say, three to four days that you can set up, uh, set the fence to whatever you need to, and then just start ripping and not have to concern yourself with anything else. It's also very suitable for a home workshop uh, if you are just using it to you know, rip up some uh, thin bits of solid timber uh, for whatever your project might be. Uh, again, with the maneuverability of this saw, put it on a base or put it onto, say, a trolley, you can just wheel it straight out of the way. Now, who is it not suited for? So it's definitely not suited for sort of community shared workshops where uh, it's really gonna take a beating. You really need to be cognizant of the type of materials you're feeding through it. It's 1100 watts, it runs off your standard house plug. It doesn't have the grunt that you're gonna need in a saw to be able to rip thick, red gum sleepers. Um, it will chew through particle board, it will chew through MDF um, birch ply sheets like butter. When you're really putting strain on it by trying to take out uh, an 80 mil tread, uh, stair tread of iron bark, it's just not gonna cut it. The motor will probably seize up or just wear out. If that is the case, if that's what you are looking for in your saw, then it's definitely worth looking uh, into our heavy duty range, at least our cabinet saws, uh, because they will chew through anything that you throw at them. And that's it for another video. So for any more information that you might need, hit the links below or give us a call at the shop. Uh, make sure you like, share and subscribe the page to help us grow. And I will see you in the next video.